Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spinning Venom, aka the Venom Vlog, and this is episode 180. And I'm excited because I actually have toy news for you guys. Uh, today on Hasbro's Instagram and their Pulse Instagram account, which I follow both and I'll put links to down below, uh, they revealed some new images for the upcoming Venom line. And so as we know that we learned at like Toy Fair and earlier this year, we learned that there was five figures in the set. We were going to have Venom. We had Eddie Brock. He's got an interchangeable head. He could look like Eddie Brock. Uh, then we're going to have Carnage. And he kind of looks like a similar version, like paint job as the one we had before. Just like, you, you know, maybe a few new details to him. Uh, then we're also going to have Poison Peter Parker from the uh, Venomverse storyline, which I'm very excited about. The, the figure looks awesome. He looks really cool, and his spider logo is kind of like coming off him, kind of going all over the place, which is really neat. Uh, and then we also revealed um, Spider-Ham as one of the figures uh, that was going to be in the line, and also Scream. Uh, and so I think Spider-Ham comes with like the swine head, like the black symbiote head, uh, and then we have Scream herself as well. So we thought it was just going to be those five, and what we saw on the box art at Toy Fair was that there was a Build-A-Figure, of course, involved. All Marvel Legends series have a cool Build-A-Figure, usually. And uh, and this one, it, it was just called Monster Venom. And it caused a lot of people to speculate, which version is Monster Venom? Is it like the Matt Gargan version? Is it going to be like a new movie version? Is it Venom the Madness version? If that were the case, why didn't they just call it Venom the Madness? So there was a lot of speculation out there of what version it could be. Um, I had a couple theories myself, but I wasn't really sure. And I just thought maybe it would be like Ultimate. Uh, that was my biggest one. I thought it was going to be Ultimate Spider-Man's uh, version when he fought Miles Morales. Like the one with the little red eyes and, you know, the what the long snout and stuff uh, and he like you know the one that killed Miles Morales' mom I thought that would be a cool build a figure because it's big and it's malformed and it you know looks very different and uh, and that is not the case though what actually what they revealed is before we get to the monster venom they revealed a sixth figure in the line which I was not expecting this I, I was hoping it would be six figures in the line but they decided to hold back on one and so boom there is typhoid Mary uh, who is typically I believe a daredevil villain and she hasn't really, I, I don't know, I, I know she popped up in a Daredevil run, um, and I think uh, Venom popped in in an issue of that run as well. Uh, I don't know if it was called Fall from Grace or something like that. It came out in the 90s, uh, but I remember reading it way back when, and I, I thought it was really cool. I like the artwork. I think Scott McDaniel was drawing around that time. Uh, I could be wrong. Let me know if I'm wrong on that, uh, but uh, I really like that, and I, I'm wondering, well, maybe is it a nod to that? I know Typhoid Mary and Venom, even though they're on opposite sides of the book, they sometimes appeared in Marvel um Comics Presents uh, a few times. Mostly it was Ghost Rider and Typhoid Mary, but I think Venom might have squeezed in there once or twice. Um, but yeah, I thought that was cool, revealing Typhoid Mary. So she's the sixth figure. She's got her flame sword, and she's got her face is halfway turning into Typhoid Mary, and then got the human face on the side. Um, and then there's also the Build-A-Figure, which is, boom, right there, Monster Venom. And it looks to be the Matt Gargan version. It looks like we're going to get the Thunderbolts Matt Gargan version. And I thought this news came in at a great time because... Uh, probably starting next week or toward closer to the end of next week i think with my the way i'm doing the new schedule now um we're going to dive into the, the Mac Gargan Thunderbolt run. So it probably won't start immediately next week. I still want to get through a couple more comic runs before we get there. And I do have most of the weekend off. So I'm going to try to make those videos this weekend and get them up my, uh, you know, by Monday. And then next week, we're going to start the new schedule of Venom Vlog episodes on Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays only, uh, unless new news pops up like this did today. So uh, let me know what you think. I mean, obviously the figure line, they're going to go on, they're coming out like August, September. They're going to start doing pre-orders for them. So you can pre-order them online at like Big Bag Toy toys.com or you know other places local comic shop you could probably start ordering them right now or soon put pre-orders on um, I think there's a black sheep comics I think in Texas is taking pre-orders you can do like 30 to 50 bucks down now and pay the rest when the when the order starts to come in uh, so that's pretty cool so I'll try to put a link to their comic shop down below you can try to order from them I don't know how many they're gonna order so it's, it might be limited there uh, but check with your local comic stores as well maybe you can get um, a, an order in it on the next previews magazine or something uh, but I'm excited I think he looks cool, the Mac Gargan version. He's got the the you know the spiders going all over the place, kind of like it did with Mac, and he's big. I think it looks like he's doing a re, the repainting the Ultimate Green Goblin, Norman Osborn, like when he turns into the Hulk looking Green Goblin from Ultimate Comics. It looks like that same body mold, like the chest and the arms look the same. Different hands, obviously, but the feet definitely look the same, where they have like the long toenails and stuff. So it looks like a repaint of that, but that's pretty typical for Hasbro to do that. Uh, and I also think it's kind of cool that they're repainting a Norman Osborn figure, since even though it's not the ultimate version but regular Norman Osborn was the head of the Thunderbolts when Venom Mac Gargan was on the team 
Uh, so we're going to get into that, you know, in the coming weeks and uh, start Mac Gargan month. And we'll do like a whole month or a little bit longer than a month. Uh, just, you know, slowly talking about uh, all the appearances he made. Um, so, yeah, I can't wait till we get into that because even though I didn't like him too much as Venom, I didn't think he was that interesting. I, like I said in previous videos, I think the stories around him were that Thunderbolts run is awesome by Warren Ellis and Christos Gage. And then also um, I really liked the Dark Avengers run by Brian Michael Bendis. Uh, so, yeah, you're going to see me, you know, actually compliment Bendis a lot coming up, uh, which will be a little bit of a change of pace here. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Are you excited for these toys? Are you going to pre-order them? Are you going to buy them yourself? Let me know how you're going to get them. And uh, is there any figures if they do a wave two that you would like to see them put in there? Uh, let me know what your figure list would be, your dream list, and what build a figure you would want them to put in your dream list so thank you guys so much for watching my channel like share subscribe all that fun stuff and i'll see you all in the future peace